don't ever hit me up, up, up. Why you think I get no first? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Anti Gorgeous here with another video. Actually, this is my first video of 2018 lit. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, at this point, what we're waiting for? Like, just go right ahead and subscribe to my channel. Now, today's look is a very colorful, bold look. I wanted to do an inspired look. So today, this video is going to be based off um, Instagram inspiration. I put your names so bad. So I just started following this page a couple of months ago and every look on this page is amazing. And my look is from the I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called Paloui's Pal Makeup Academy. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but this is the look right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, this is the look right here. I instantly came home as I saw this picture at work and started to recreate this look. So it's basically just like yellow, orange, pink, white, and a hint of glitter. Everything that looks good on my skin tone, so I had to recreate this look. But if you're interested in seeing how I created this look right here, just keep watching the video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a base. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural. This is the lightest concealer I believe you can buy. Now, I use this concealer because I wanted to basically get as much pigment as possible to show on this eye look you guys don't have to probably go this light because i regret it after but the look still came out okay but i'm going to set this with my maybelline master fix translucent powder i would recommend maybe going fawn fawn is probably um light enough or medium beige but um, yeah, so continuing with the look, I'm using yellow for my Morphe 35B palette. I'm gonna have all the products that I'm using in this video below, but I'm basically packing on this color. Now I'm using orange from the same palette. I'm kind of tapping on the color and then blending out just so I can get as much um, color as possible. And now I'm going to go back in with that brush that I use for the yellow just to make sure everything's blended together now one thing that I do have to say is that this eye look basically brought me through hell I was trying to get the pigment to show and the shadow was kind of disappearing as you guys can see I blended out the crease and it disappeared so I went in with my lime crying Venus palette to kind of get that pink pigment that I was trying to get from the Morphe palette and it worked a little bit but um it did come out a little blotchy but I'm going to now use my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil. This is in Milk. And I'm going to basically create the cut crease that I want. And then I'm going to then set this with some white eyeshadow. So you want to set this with a white eyeshadow because you don't want your eyeshadow that you're going to apply to stick. So make sure that you're basically setting this very evenly you don't want any wet marks to show because that shadow that you're going to apply will stick and it's just going to look bad so now i'm going to go back in and try to add some pink as you guys can see it looks beautiful on the white but it's not really sticking to the end of my eye so we're just going to continue with the look now i'm going to add the orange and then each shadow that you're using and applying you want to make sure that it's blending into each other now i'm adding a yellow and then i'm going to go back in and add white just so that is um shown so now with the wing eyeliner you're going to take the same exact milk jumbo liner that you use um to do your cut crease but now you're going to create a wing and i'm just using an angle brush to do that And again, you want to set this with some white eyeshadow as well. And when you're creating a reverse, of course, you're going to do the reverse thing that you did for your eyelid. So now I'm adding a pink and then I'm going to go in and add the orange and then I'm going to add the yellow and I'm going to leave the tail in white. But again, make sure that each shadow is blended into each other. Now to add some glitter, I'm using the Stila Diamond Dust Glitter Shadow and I'm using a small eyeshadow brush just to tap it over it. You're not really trying to cover up the color, you're just trying to add a little shimmer. 
Now it's time to add my falsies. I'm going to now add some mascara. Any mascara that is your favorite, you can add. And the lashes that I'm going to be wearing for this look are the Coco Girl About Town lashes. And I'm going to apply these with some tweezers and some glue. Make sure that your glue is tacky before applying your lashes, of course. Now that we're pretty much done with the eyes, it's time to do our face. I'm going to wipe away all this excess shadow fallout that I have and like this white concealer. I'm just going to clean it up with a makeup wipe. And now I'm spraying my face with my MAC Fix Plus and then I orange correct my face with the MAC Pure Orange. And then I'm just adding my favorite uh, foundation. This is the Lancome uh, foundation and my shade is in 540 CW. I'm going to really just skim through this because this eye look is the main focus. Um, I'm just going to highlight and contour. I'm highlighting with the MAC NC45 concealer and I'm just going to blend that out with my damp beauty blender. To contour with, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick and Espresso. You guys already know this is my jam. I'm almost out, so I'm not going to be able to say that soon. I'm thinking about getting some more, but I'm not sure. I think I just might stick to my Fenty Espresso Match Stick, but who knows. Um, for now, I'm going to use this until it is completely gone. Now to set my highlighted areas, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup, but I'm not baking. I'm actually going to use my Sephora Contour Brush just to press this powder in. I already didn't want to really highlight the look. I just wanted to slightly set my highlighted areas. And then I'm just kind of doing like sweeping motions. Now to bronze up my face, I'm using my CoverGirl Bronzer Queen Collection. This is an Ebony, and I'm just going to warm up my face a bit. Y'all, seriously, this is my Ray Ray palette has been my go-to. I'm using Brownie White as my contour shade just to snatch these cheeks up a bit. To finish my under eye, I'm going in with my Elf Blush palette and I'm just adding some blush as some um, shadow to smoke it out. I'm not really sure what the name is because it doesn't have a name. Then I'm going to add some highlight and this is my Jockey Ina La Peach highlight. And I'm going to also add that same highlight to my brow bone and in my inner and that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any more videos from me and slay every day i'll see you guys in my next upload bye guys